welcome Ophiosis. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Let's look at your reading in this um, series, okay? This is um, the month of uh, uh, June or the period of June, but it's a timeless reading. So whenever you pick this up, it is the time. All right, Ophiosis, you have the energy of the devil. You know what that is all about. No question about that um, energy, the energy of the devil. Um, it is about um, 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 people outside influence, outside influence. And people say the energy of the devil is a Capricorn, but it's not. This is about really outside influence. There's about deceptiveness. They're recognizing what a cancer have done. They're recognizing that a Gemini was blindfolded to um, the things that a Cancer and a Leo was doing. I see you, Ophiosis, is not showing up any love um, towards anyone in this period because you, Ophiosis, recognize uh, that a Gemini, a Cancer, and Leo was very dishonest. So, wonderful, um, ladies and gentlemen, for some of you, because you, Ophiosis, is going to be really recognizing and seeing the truth about a Gemini and a Cancer, that a Gemini was blindfolded to what a Cancer was doing. You um, are going to be recognizing that whoever a Gemini is, so it could have been a Gemini boss or um, just Gemini um, on the work floor was really blindfolded that a Cancer was shattering them on the work floor. So it's a situation where um, a Cancer um, was shattering a cancer and a Leo was shattering a Gemini. Okay, there is something where a cancer and a Leo had co created and collaborated and was uh, um, shattering a Gemini without they even know. A cancer had um, some sort of access code to a Gemini computer or the Gemini access code and was using it to defraud their people and a company of a whole lot of money. I see you, Ophiosis, have no. Um, you, you're like, um, no way. You have no mercy. You, Ophiosis, are going in this and have no mercy for a Leo and a Cancer. You, Ophiosis, are going to be recognizing how a Leo and a Cancer have created a whole lot of problems. And you, Ophiosis, no mercy. So, you know, you, Ophiosis, is going to be really using the sword of truth to, um, to take to him this negative forces and I see that you Ophiosis are really going to be recognizing that a Gemini has nothing to do with a problem because the Gemini didn't even know that these people were shattering um, this in this cancer and this Leo was shattering this Gemini computer. Oh my God. So Ophiosis, I see you're standing your ground. You're standing your ground and uh, um, you are like uh, using the sword of truth to like take down these people. So we open up with the two of pentacles in the reverse. What is the energy of the two of pentacles? It's about equilibrium and doing some sort of an adjustment. So um, reorganization um, changes could be coming up where you're um, reorganizing your, in your company or your department or your um, uh, the team that you're in. Some sort of a reorganization is going to be coming up. When the energy of the two of pentacles comes in, it's about Jupiter in Cancer. Jupiter is not in Cancer, um, Ophiosis, because um, um, someone has created some sort of an issue for a Capricorn person. And I see you, Ophiosis, standing up for injustice and equality to what a um, Gemini, a Cancer, and a Leo have done to a Capricorn person. So... Um, this Capricorn person was getting a lot of uh, um, hit, and this Capricorn person, um, this is an issue with Jupiter in a Capricorn, and it's as if um, you, um, Ophios has found out something about a Capricorn person, and is recognizing that a Capricorn person got some bad hit reputation wise, work wise, it's as if uh, a cancer was um, blocking a Capricorn person from really letting them excel in their career and excel in their work and excel as a person. They were really 
um, creating a whole lot of issues for a Capricorn or for yourself. So Jupiter in Capricorn meaning um, luck at the workplace and luck in your business, luck in whatever you do to create and create a financial stability and materialistic wealth for yourself. There was a whole lot of uh, um, unconventional situation that was transpiring and it can be against you, um, Ophiosis, but it can also be against a Capricorn that you recognize that a Capricorn was not moving forward and was not um, being able to um, um, balance out themselves. And it was because a Cancer and a Leo had created a whole lot of problems and people are now recognizing what this Cancer and Leo have done. So for some of you, if you are not moving up the ladder and moving up the career ladder, moving your business is not going, it is a Cancer and a Leo that is using some sort of a negative energy in order to block you. Um, so be aware of this, all right? Then we are going to be looking at uh, um, the Seven of uh, Swords, but we all know what this, the Eight of Swords, we all know what this Eight of Swords is all about, okay? And this Eight of Swords, you have two eights, so infinity abundancy. Money is coming out. Some of you could be getting some sort of a salary increase. The Eight of Swords is the energy of uh, imprisonment, okay? You could be imprisoned in yourself because this is if uh, a lot of you are trying to figure out what is going on and you're kind of in prison in yourself and wondering, how comes these people or moving forward and I am not moving forward. How comes these people are growing and I am not growing? And they're going to be recognizing that a Cancer and a Leo is the one that has been blocking you from growing. They're now going to be recognizing and seeing the truth of what a Cancer and a Leo has done. That a Cancer and a Leo play some sort of a block from the growth, your growth ophiosis, and they're going to be recognizing. Now you have two eight. You have um some sort of a unexpected situation is going to be coming in but it is infinity it is good as a matter of fact you have three eight you see the sign of infinity because this is jupiter and capricorn and it's as if your luck wasn't flowing when it comes up at the workplace because you're dealing with some sort of a negative influence that is influencing you at the workplace or your business so ophiosis be aware because you're going to be finding this out so the eight of swords is about you being blind or in prison to what is going on. Also, a Gemini, a Gemini is blind and in prison to what is going on also. And you're going to be alerting a Gemini, a Gemini or you're going to be finding out that a Gemini was not aware that they were shattering this Gemini and they had put some sort of a information or access code on this Gemini computer and was... um. Um, in, in, in this, uh, taking information from this Gemini, Jupiter in Gemini. And with this energy of Jupiter in Gemini, what is happening and is transpiring is that a Gemini um, and a Capricorn seems to be worked against. Whoever um, uh, you could be recognizing Jesus, they have been um, working against this Gemini and this Capricorn for a very long time. And a lot of you are going to be recognizing and seeing this. Um, so it's as if these two people are very, very good in their jobs. And a Cancer and a um, Leo was blocking and working against these people. A Gemini is now going to be recognizing because either you could be alerting the Gemini that a Cancer has been shattering this Gemini and co-creating problems and issue um, for them. In the second week, a lot of you in the second week is going to be recognizing um, um, some sort of a, a communication that a cancer, something that a cancer have communicated um, is going to be alerting a lot of you ophiosis about um, not to trust this cancer. So you ophiosis is as if a cancer said something and you're going to be um, right away recognize I don't need to trust you. Okay, there is secrecy. You're going to be finding out that um, a cancer, the moon in cancer, secrecy that a cancer has been holding. And a cancer has been using witchcraft uh, um, to control a, um, a, a Virgo and control a Gemini and control 
people on the work floor. So I see you, Ophiosos, is going to be recognizing because it's as if you, Ophiosos, recognize, oh, it's as if you, Ophiosos, as a been considering and thinking about something you could be a manager and you're recognizing that hey the work of this capricorn is very good why in this capricorn excel and some of you are going to be recognizing that you were blindfolded and being imprisoned and if you notice this dark energy that a lot of you have been blindfolded and being imprisoned by um, some sort of a negative forces uh, so they're going to be recognized as a cancer is the one that plays some sort of a negative forces to blind, a blindfold a Gemini for the Gemini not to see what was going on. And it's as if you, Ophiosus, is the manager of the Gemini and it's going to be recognizing that this uh, cancer have this Gemini under some sort of a hypnotism. Okay. And this, this cancer use, um, um, uh, the, the forces of witchcraft uh, to hypnotize uh, a Gemini so that a Gemini never recognized what this cancer was up to and what this cancer was doing. So there is just some serious, serious thing because um, however, this Gemini is this Jupiter uh, in Gemini. So this Gemini is a very, very um, a smart person and also intellectually educated but whoever this cancer is, this cancer has been using witchcraft to control a lot of people on the work floor. And it's as if uh, you obviously uh, start to question things, question things, question things. And you're going to be recognizing that there has been negative forces that is controlling people. Um, and you're going to be recognizing the cancer is the one that has been using negative forces in order to accumulate. And they're going to be recognizing and I think that some of you are going to be um, really alerting a Gemini and said, hey, Gemini, you got to be aware of uh, this cancer. This cancer is using witchcraft to control you and to control what goes on um, in the company or on the work floor. A Gemini is going to be now awakened because the Gemini is going to be recognizing I wasn't aware of what was going on. The Gemini is going to be um, waking up now. So it's, a, it's as if a lot of you of you also recognize that, hey, how can everybody see this cancer, that this cancer have a secret, but yet still the Gemini, the boss, the supervisor is not seeing that. And I see that some of you are going to be going into um, some form of meditation. You might even go and um, get someone to investigate what is really going on in your business and with these people because you're seeing as if they've been excelling. They have what to excel, but they're not excelling. And I see that um, you are going to be finding out that a cancer, the moon in cancer is that a cancer has a secret. And the secrets of the cancer is that the cancer has been using witchcraft to control the supervisor, the boss, or the manager who is uh, and controlling everything so that they could have get eye position and move through and move up the ladder by blindfolding this um, Gemini as to, to, to what they were doing. So it is as if uh, you, Ophiosus, is going to be seen through the veil of illusion because you're Ophiosus. You were born November 29 until December 17. You know and you feel witchcraft when people are doing witchcraft. And you're going to be finding out that it's a cancer that has been um, using witchcraft to control a lot of people on the work floor and was getting these eye promotion and was getting these promotion and was going through and getting all that they need. And you're going to be recognizing that is a um, a cancer that has been using negative forces to control a situation. This is really sick. It is really, really sick. And I see that you Ophiosus are going to be um, thinking, you know, you people get out of here. Go back to wherever you are from, your little bush um, situation and how you manipulate people um, by using negative forces and who the hell wants to work, work with and worship the devil. If you worship the devil, go back to where you're from. Um, go worship the devil. So I see that you Ophiosus is going to be getting so upset because you Ophiosus recognize that the Capricorn is so good and the Capricorn has been 
are very, very good with their job. But while the Capricorn has been moving up and you're going to be watching and going at this and looking and finding out, then we see the energy of uh, um, the seven of ones and that is going to be a, um, a Leo. Energy in the, the, the third week, uh, a Leo. You're going to be finding out what a Leo has done. A very disturbing situation what Aaliyah has done. And I see that you opiosis is going to be thinking, um, this is where it ends. This Leah needs to get out of my corporation, my department. Um, I don't want this Leah to be um near, not anymore. So um that is the energy where we're seeing in the third week with that uh, um this is a situation where it is Mars in Leo. Mars in Leo. And you're going to be firing the Cancer and the Leo. And uh, you're going to be recognizing that the Cancer and the Leo has been using witchcraft uh, to control um, a Gemini in such a way that this Gemini is not even aware of it. This Gemini is like beyond the illusion of, uh, um, you know, understanding what this Cancer and this Leo was doing. And how this can send this Leo use witchcraft uh, to control this Gemini. This Gemini is the blindfolded about uh, uh, the workings of this Cancer and this Leo. And I see that you Ophios is going to be stepping in. Whether it's a client and the client wife and the client wife um, uh, has been controlling them and creating some sort of an Ill illusion or whether it's a, it's a good friend or a good co-worker. Um, I see you Ophios is going to be saying no more. No more. Um, no, um, you are going to be removing the scans and this Leo and return them to where they're from. Um, um, yes, you're going to be firing Morris and Leo. You are definitely going to be firing a cancer and a Leo because you're going to be recognizing that a cancer and a Leo has been climbing the career ladder in your company and it's because they're using witchcraft to control everyone and everything around them. And that's why everyone is always having um, this love and this cancer is always looking for this love. And I see the love, if even you found this person to be, uh, you, you you know, you had liked this person before, you're going to be, when you find out that this person, how people were uh, being attracted to this person is witchcraft they were using is as if they put an illusion over them so that whenever anyone asks for anything, they use the witchcraft illusion. I see you're going to be firing um, the Leo and the Cancer and you have made the right decision. Um, listen, Ophiosis, a lot of you Ophiosis, this is a period of money for a lot of you Ophiosis. And I'm going to be showing you because a lot of you, um, when you come to these readings, you expect to see money. But money comes up in all different forms and all different ways. This is a business reading, okay? Um, and money is here. This is 1-8 infinity and it is duality. So it's as if a lot of you are going to be creating. By creating, you're going to be um, manifesting money for you. So this is 1-8, okay? And duality. So this is very, very good. That's why it's Jupiter and Capricorn. Very good. Then the other late eight that we're seeing is here. This is an eight and that is a eight. And also the infinity sign over um, the strength, okay? So how many eights we have? We have one, uh, two, three, four, okay? Four eights. Four eights. So four eights, this is like, Money is is there. Money is is as if uh, you need to create and pull down. So if you're a creative person, you're going to be making a lot of money um, because you're going to be pulling this out of the equator. Uh, okay. So the number seven, the um, eight of pentacles, so is um, is about the Virgos. Okay. So eight of pentacles has to do with. Uh, uh, um, sun in Virgo, sun in Virgo. And uh, there was no happiness on the work floor. There was no sun in Virgo, no happiness on the work floor because your work or you were controlled by negative forces, your business, um, your work. Okay. And, 
And Leo was the one that was using negative forces to control like a contract. I can't get a contract because of using witchcraft. That is how a cancer got a contract. That is how a Leo got a contract is by using witchcraft. And they're going to be recognizing because if you notice, uh, um, this situation is that some of you are praying, praying to be released by this witchcraft energy. The Gemini is now going to be awakened <coughs> and is recognizing the witchcraft that was uh, was used um, for him to take on this cancer and a Leo. Sick situation. So a lot of you opiosis, be aware and open up. A lot of you opiosis, if your business is not um, working, you're having problems with your business, you're trying to fight, endure it, endure it, because it's going to be working out in the end. The person who are controlling your business is a Cancer and a Leo by using witchcraft. All right, let's move on. Let's see what is coming out. If you would like to see the extended of this reading, follow us to the other side. Um, if not, I will see you in the bi-monthly.